What's going on guys, it's your boy Lethal, and um, before I start this video, I want to apologize for the last video that I put up um, about Old School Monday. I didn't know that when I uploaded, the audio was so fucked up. Um, before I uploaded, I actually watched it on my computer, and it, it was perfect, it had no problems. Um, this is like the third time this has happened, and I had to take the other videos down and re-upload them. But after I uploaded the video, I deleted it off my computer, just to save some room. So, um, I couldn't re-upload it. But, um, I'm, I fixed the problem. It was something wrong with my, um, editing software. Hopefully it won't happen again. But, um, this is the video I promised you earlier this week. It's me playing on one of those new two, the two new maps, um, Liberation, I think. I think that's what it's called. I think it's, like, some kind of Central Park area. Um, I'm playing Kill Confirmed, and I'm using a new, uh, new class I made. Um, specifically for this map, because uh, I was playing this map when it first came out, well not when it first came out, I actually downloaded it the first day it came out, never played it until like a week later. Um, but yeah, when I first started playing, I got like 2 kills, 15 deaths, and I didn't like that, so then I came up with this class and a technique that I'm going to tell you what to do to get you a high kill death ratio, but not a lot of kills, because you won't be able to run into them as much. As you see him right there, I got killed. That was the first time I died for a long time. I think I get 15 kills without dying. And then I die three more times because I go 18 and 4, I believe. And some of you might think that's not high. But uh, the kill death ratio is like like a 4 something, 4.6, like somewhere around there. I'm not sure. Um. But if you're better than me, which most people probably are, because I'm not saying I'm the best. I'm good, but not good. You'll probably have a higher kill-death ratio and all that. Um, right here, I'm waiting to get kills. This My technique is to keep running around the edge of the map, because if you run around the edge, you most likely won't run into the people down in that trench area. You don't want to go there if you're trying to get lots of kills. Or not, if you're trying to get a high kill-death ratio. If you're trying not to die a lot, don't go down there because you're just going to get shot up like 15 different areas. It's really dangerous down there. That's why I stick to this. I came up with this when I was just running around and I just seen a shit ton of guys like camping on the, the edges with snipers. Because that's what a lot of people use. They use snipers in this level. So I just run around just annihilating people I see down here. And then like with the MK14 I think it's called in this game. Um, you could do pretty good uh, long range. So, like, certain spots, like here, and then an area I'll show later where I get a couple kills. Um, you could get really far distant kills. So right there, I get my care package. Um, I think I get one or two care packages because I get a Reaper. and the, No, I think I only get one care package because of my Reaper. And then I die, and I keep getting a couple kills, and then I die. But right here, I think I get a double kill, which these two fucking kids suck ass. Yeah, right here. I kill this guy. That guy could have easily knifed me or shot me, but he didn't. So I get a kill there, and I think I get another kill, like, right around here. I'm not, I'm not too sure, but... Yeah, like, right right here, I think I'm waiting for, uh... No, I was doing something with my computer because it was fucking up. But I come down here, I think I get a couple kills. I use my, uh, my Predator missile right over here. But this is the other area where you can get real long distance snipes, or not snipes, headshots and stuff. Right there I get a guy long distance. With me get, well, I consider that long distance, but most people won't because they didn't get it. Right here, I get a kill with the Predator Missile, but there's something wrong with the Predator Missile. I don't know if you have, um, have been experiencing it. Like, sometimes when I use the Predator Missile, it'll, like, control itself and, like, go to random places. And, like, it will be inverted controls and stuff. It's been happening to, a lot, to me a lot, like, for the past couple of months. But right there, I get my Reaper. Um, I'm not good with the Reaper. I don't know why it's on this class. I never changed it. Because this class, before I had this, was a Barret. I don't know why I had it with the Barret anyway. But, um, right here, I use the Reaper. And I think I get one or two kills. What the hell is that? I don't know what the fuck that is. I didn't even really notice that. But right there, I get a kill right there. Get, I think, one or two more. There's... I don't understand this, the Reaper, because these guys ain't underground, because you can't go underground there. That's the area where I was just at. And I'm shooting these guys, and they ain't even taking any hit markers or anything. There's something wrong with this game. 
Oh, there's a lot of shit wrong with this game. Um, there was actually an update a couple months, like a month ago, and that's why I haven't been playing this. The update was supposed to fix the um, the dedicated servers and overkill guns and the spawns. It did absolutely none of that shit. Robert Bowling has to get his head out of his ass and fucking fix that. Because it's been over a fucking... Is it, this game came out in November. It's already February. So that's about three, four months. And he still hasn't fixed it. But right there I get another Predator missile. I think I get a double kill with it. Yeah, I try to get a triple kill right there. But see right here, it just fucking starts controlling itself. I couldn't move it over that way at all. But I do get a double kill. Which I could have had one more kill with a triple kill. Um, I think I die, like, right around here I get killed, and that'll be my second death. Um, oh yeah, and, uh, next week, next Monday, I don't know if I, you caught it in the last video because of the audio, um, next Monday I'm going to be putting out, uh, for Old School Monday, it's going to be Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, I have that on the Xbox, so I'll be putting that out, and next Thursday... I'm probably going to be putting out uh, the quest for the Golden Mob Episode 1, which is uh, another mob. It's a mob series I'm coming out with. You have to get three mobs, one life without dying. But this is getting one mob 39 and 4. I think it's pretty good for uh, Episode 1. It's not like Episode 1, you have to get like th two mobs without dying or two mobs and die once or anything like that. I don't think. I don't really want it to be like that. But right there, I could have had a kill. I could have got a lot of kills right around here. Cause they just kept spawning out of there and I didn't capitalize on it. I just kept walking and I seen them just coming out. I could have had like maybe three kills and then I get blindsided by this guy with the ACR. Um, and maybe tomorrow I might put out part two to this because it's uh, the first DLC map pack part one. This is going to be part one and then I might put out part two for Piazza or Plaza or whatever that map's called. I kind of like Plaza or Piazza. It's not too big and it's not too small, um, but most of the maps in this game, I don't think Robert Bowling and Infinity War had absolutely no care for, because it looks like they just fucking copied most of the stuff from Modern Warfare 2 and just put it into this. Most of the maps all suck. I mean, I like a couple of them, like Resistance, I like um, Mission, Dome, I think that's about it. They were the only three I like, um, but this map's pretty good for this class. It's not like the best, like I said, but like I think this class could actually get the job done. Like if you're pretty good with this gun, I'm not good at this gun. This is the first time I've been using it since uh, the game came out. I actually didn't use it. I use it in the campaign, but that's it. Like you have to use it in campaign because it's mandatory, unless you swap it out. But you get a scope on it. But I don't understand why they didn't let you get the um, the actual vi variable scope with the M14 if you could get it in the campaign. I don't understand why they didn't just put that in just one extra uh, attachment. They're, they're just retarded. But right there I get a buzz kill pretty long distance with this gun. Like I said, um, it's pretty good. I have the silencer and a uh, hollow on it. I mean, if you want, you can put the ACOG on it, but I wouldn't recommend that. Well, I don't like using ACOG in any of the Call of Duty games because I think the ACOGs in this all suck. Because it doesn't even have any zoom in it. Like Battlefield Bay Company 2. That one had a pretty good one. Pretty good uh, four time zoom. Right now I can see the time winding down and I'm actually trying to find someone to kill. And I think I get sniped. I do kill one guy and then get sniped. Yeah, right here I kill a guy and then get sniped. I could have had that guy, but uh, I, I would have acted too. So I see this guy over here. I shoot through the pipes and I think I, yeah, he tries to crouch. I get him right there. Um, this guy gets sniped. I don't know where the hell this sniper is because this map's so wide and open. And then I just walk by and get sniped by that guy long distance. Um, yeah, so that's basically the end of the video. Right around here, it's over. And the final kill happens. But right here, my screen will go black. That's because uh, I actually had to go down to my downstairs and get something to eat when this was actually recording. And the whole screen goes black. Don't worry about that. It's nothing wrong with uh, the computer or anything. It's just that I forgot to do it. I don't know why um, this uh, theater mode does that. I don't understand that. But um, that's the end of this video. Remember, rate the video, comment the video, and subscribe if you want to see similar videos to this one. Um, from Team Trey, I'm Lethal. I'm signing out. And remember.
to stay icy. See ya.